these things. One is you can find your directions. Uh, if you're hiking, you want to find some bearings. Maybe you want to plan out a hike. Um, you can use this in lieu of your compass protractor, as you've probably seen in the other videos we've done um, of how to use the protractor on your compass. Uh, this is a protractor you can use. Uh, you basically just put it down on your map. Say you want to head a particular direction, you just take a string and you have to add that on there. It doesn't come with it. Um, and then you can run this all the way around uh, the diameter of the grid overlay. And you'll see that there's um, all of your uh, degrees are going to be marked along the edge of this. And you can basically find out, yeah, I'm going, I'm going to go, um, oh, I don't know, 250 degrees. All right. So from my location, 250 degrees, boom, there. It's just, is it just super easy. Um, the more, um, the next function uh, of this is to finding and plotting location uh, in lieu of a GPS. Uh, so um, essentially, and there's a lot to this, I'll just kind of go as quick as I can, um, but uh, basically you're, you're going to use not longitude and latitude, as we've talked about before in other videos, you're going to use UTM coordinates. Uh, the UTM coordinates is, um, runs, a, I don't want to get too into the technicality of this because it doesn't really matter, but basically the, those um, X and Y axes run more parallel to each other. Um, creating a more perfect grid that you can use. Uh, on your map, you're going to have your red lines that you're going to be using for your general navigation, um, but you also have these blue lines, and they'll be indicated by blue tick marks. And I've highlighted these blue tick marks here so you can see where they're at. Um, and these blue tick marks is, is going to be the grid reference that you're going to use for your UTM. So Essentially, what you want to do is before you read off any uh, location, find any coordinates, you want to make sure that everybody, your map, um, your map or maps, your GPS, the other people that you might be communicating with, all have the same datum. Um, and that datum, the standard uh, that most people use is WGS84. Uh, so you want to make sure that you plug. If you're going to use UTM, you're going to be plugging the uh, WGS84 into your GPS. So that's going to create a lot of confusion if you don't do that. Second, as we talked about, it make the the uh, UTM coordinates gives you a little bit more of a of a perfect grid pattern. Well, the United States is separate into like 18 or 19. The mainland US uh, is separate into I think it's 18 or 19, 17 uh, zones um, out of the 60 zones of the world. So your map is going to tell you what zone it is, and that's going to be your first kind of essentially your essential coordinate. Not a lot of people reference that because if you, everyone has the same map, then there's no need. But what you're looking at is what you're looking to reference is a series of eight digits. So 10 altogether, two with your zone, um, four with what you called your easting and four with your northing. And so the first two numbers in that in your easting is going to be your grid. So, um, you know, for example, this first grid here is 49. So um, I'm going to go east or right 49, and then I'm going to go north or up 81. And then so, so for example, this grid here is 4981. So if I wanted to tell somebody where I was at, first I'm going to tell them how to get to the grid that I'm in. So if I'm, say I, I broke my ankle, I can't walk, I'm calling in for a helicopter, I'm gonna tell that pilot, uh, zone 16, 49 right, 81 up, or 49 east, easting, 81 northing. And then they're gonna be able to say, ah, oh, yes, this is the grid, okay, okay, th this is where I'm at. I'm somewhere in this grid, right? Then all you're gonna do is you're going to take your grid overlay, and there's, as you can see, there's three different scales on here: um, a one to 24, one to 25, and one to 50. One to 50 and one to 24 is uh, 2400 is probably the most, probably the two most common, or at least the ones I use, probably the most. Um, so we're going to go with the one to 24 because that's what this map is. And basically, from there, what I'm, what I'm actually going to be doing, and I think a lot of times when people miss this out, is from this point, once I find that grid. I'm basically just going to find the X and Y axes of how many meters I am north and east of um, 
uh, uh, of where I'm at off of off of this this coordinate. So, um, so your second uh, series of that easting number. So I remember I said east was 49, 45. That 45 is actually 4.5, four and a half. So four and a half meters, essentially off. So I'm going to go. I'm I'm basically going to go east. So I'm going to go across four and line it up. And then I'm going to go up or northing to uh, to 63, so 81, 63, and then boom, I am right here. So I just found my location, I just found my geocache, I just found my secret fishing spot, whatever it is that you wanted to mark. Um, so you can do all of this coordinate figuring out without computers, um, on the fly, if your GPS breaks down, you've got yourself a backup, um, and you also have just a really fun activity on the weekend to do too as well if you like um, navigation. So hopefully you found this interesting, and um, hopefully I didn't butcher it too much. I don't want to get too much into the details, um, but just make it enough so that you can understand how to, to navigate with your UTM grid overlay. Check out AC, uh, Stately Asset Protection. They've got a great line of awesome gear and pick up yourself up a grid overlay. I think they have two sizes available and um, tell them Black Swan sent you.